I don't know, this is kind of the craziest fishing experience of my life. Yesterday's rain mixed with the colder temperatures we have today. We have temps in the low 60s, which is pretty good. And yesterday it was actually in the 50s, which is even more ideal for the fall run to be happening. So today I'm going out there to explore what there is to be explored. I really don't have much intel on the river. And I feel like the spots that I'm gonna be fishing are places where other guys really aren't trying to go. I've learned that the migratory fish really run up a lot farther than people think. I'm fishing 15, 16 miles above Lake Ontario. So I'm gonna be throwing spoons, spinners, really whatever might piss these fish off. And in the process, I might be catching some behemoth smallmouth bass, giant channel catfish that are pike in this river, gar, brown trout. So it's gonna be a really fun mission today. I'm 15 minutes away from the spot as we speak and I cannot be any more ecstatic. Today is gonna be an awesome day. Send begins. I'm trekking. Oh my god, I'm trekking down here to the river. I've literally almost slipped on all this brush that's blocking me from getting to the river. And a lot of the times, the best spots that you find are the ones that you really have to adventure to get to. Right now, there's no one else who is gonna scale down what I want to call a mountain and then get to the river. I've got the bait caster all rigged up. I'm throwing a rattle trap to start off. I'm really targeting whatever bites smallmouth pike, maybe the aggressive king salmon. After I make it through this death trap of rocks, roots, trees, whatever's in the way, I'm gonna get to the spot which is up about a thousand feet in front of me. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of wet wading and maybe some swimming. I got my full sweatpants, sweatshirt outfit on, but that's not stopping me from getting a little bit wet to catch these fish. Wow, this really is not the easiest spot to get to. All right, so all I'm bringing right now is a set of pliers, a couple lures I have where the hooks are kind of protected. I'm putting these right in my pocket. And pretty much what we're dealing with right now is we got a little channel right here that's blocking me off from the main river. So I decided I'm gonna go for a little swim, take my sweatshirt off, get across here to the other side, and then get up to the current where these fish are gonna be running up to. It's looking like we got deep water right here. It's a pretty easy swim. If they do release current from up there, I'm kind of screwed, but I'm thinking why not for the send, just get over there, get on a fish. I'm bringing the rod along and all we need is a couple lures and some line and the GoPro. So let's, uh, let's get over there. All right, so here goes nothing. It, uh, it's looking like we got deep water and uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of go for it. Land oh baby. That was scary. Okay, so we just made it from that side to this side. It was a little bit harder than expected, but we made it over here. I'm hiking up this little wall right here. And I'm excited to show you guys the water that lies ahead. I think this swim's gonna be worth it. So let's get over there. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. This is why we swam across. All right, so pretty much from this point on, I have one GoPro battery, so I'm just gonna throw the GoPro on my head, start fishing, work my way up there, and just see what happens. Got him. Oh my God. Giant fish. Oh, we got him guys. We're hooked in. Oh, first fish of the day. This, this is feeling like a king salmon. I was literally just reeling in. The, oh, he's off, he's off. Looking for a little reaction strike. These king salmon are known to bite lures out of pure aggression during the spawn. Like I said, they're not trying to feed. But these fish are running up the current. As you can see down there, we have some slower moving water. And right here by this dam is where the current's coming out. This is where the fish want to be. Oh, oh my God, I just got nailed. That was a giant bite. Oh man, here comes a fish up here, guys. You see where this current's pumping through? The fish really have one main channel they're going to be going up. And it's that current right there. So I'm going to be fishing right within that. See if we can get a bite. Good old reaction strikes what we're looking for. Got him. Fish on. King salmon hooked into. Or is this a king salmon? Oh my God. Oh, it's giant. Oh yeah. First fish of the day. 
hooked into real solid. This fish ain't coming off. Got him right there in the current. Oh my God. All right. Guys, I am hooked into the biggest common carp I've probably ever seen. And he just ate the rattle trap. Oh my God. I thought it was a king salmon. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is absurd. This is absolutely absurd. I've never seen anything like this. I'm gonna set the GoPro down and land this fish. Huh. All right, so guys, what I was doing right there was casting the rattle trap right up into the current. I was trying to catch actually one, one of the king salmon that's running up. And I so happened to get a giant, giant common part to bite the Vinsky. This spot is crazy. Look at this, in the mouth. In the mouth on the, on the rattle trap, 20 pound carp. Oh my God. Guys, look at this thing. Oh. Haha, <laughs> look at this common carp. Just ate the rattle trap right in the current. I could have sworn that was a king salmon. But nonetheless, that swim was worth it. We're catching a fish out here. This is the first of many fish we're gonna catch today. So, oh my god. Look at that one. Let's get a nice release on this beautiful carp. So after landing that giant common carp, which I thought was a king salmon, I'm gonna cast the route trap back out there, hopefully actually hook into one of these kings. The first fish I hooked into was in fact a king. This happened to be a carp. I'm kind of curious how that happened, but I'm gonna just put the GoPro on the head again. I do have one battery only because I was swimming across that part. I couldn't bring any more because they were gonna get wet and probably break. So I have probably another 30 minutes to fish right here. Hopefully we can land a king. And then we're gonna head on to spot number two, which is another spot I scoped out on Google Maps, similar to this. But for some reason, this spot definitely seems to have the fish. And with that being said, GoPro's going back in the head. We mean business right now. It's time to fish. Time to get on these fish. We have limited time. So let's get back out there. One thing I've truly learned about fishing is you can never underestimate what can happen when you're out here. Right now, I'm going for King Salmon. Caught a carp in the mouth on a rattle trap. I really, really, really wasn't expecting that. And it wasn't even like a regular old carp. That was a giant fish. So I'm just going to keep on fishing, keep on being open to whatever's going to happen out here because who knows, I can catch a freaking bull shark or something. Go, go. Oh my God, did you, did you see that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that was the biggest king salmon I've ever seen. All right, so we're up here in the mecca of salmon fishing, pike fishing, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure every single kind of fish that I could ever want to catch was right up here. So, I don't know. This is kind of the craziest fishing experience of my life. And I, I hope you guys are enjoying this because we are about to catch some Jeremy Wade kind of river monsters fish in this spot right here. <laughs> I literally feel like a little kid coming down to the Christmas tree on Christmas. I'm casting into like Santa's warehouse over here. Swear to God. Swear to freaking God. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen right now. Something something crazy is about to happen. Got him. Got him. Oh my god, what is this? Oh, oh. He's still on there, he's still on there. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta loosen the drag a little bit. Oh, this is a giant fish. Woo oh my god, oh my god. What have I just hooked into? Throwing the rattle trap right up in the current. This fish, this fish ain't coming in easy. This fish honestly might spool me. Oh, he's in the current. Oh, he's, he's huge. Oh, there's no way, there's no chance I'm bringing this fish in. Oh, I see him out there, the surface. Oh my god. Oh no, he, he, this fish is gonna spool me, guys. Ah. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm, I'm gonna have to run this fish downstream. Oh, he popped off. He popped off. Did he? No. No, he got in the current and popped off. Just hooked into a giant, giant king salmon. That fish was probably 30, 35 pounds. Casting right up in the current. I'm gonna keep casting. I have like 20% left on the GoPro battery, which is not ideal. But nonetheless, we're catching a fish. We are landing one of these king salmon because we have to. Got him. Got him. Fish on. 
This is a fish for landing, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Gotta loosen the drag a little bit. This is a giant, giant fish. Oh my god. Uh, he's running at me. I don't know how I'm gonna quite land this fish. I just wanna at least get a good look at him. Oh, 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 oh. What the heck, it's a drum. I caught a drum. This is not even a king salmon. This is my first drum that I've ever, ever hooked. Fresh water. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, this is, this is gonna be sketchy, landing this fish. We gotta get him up on this rock. Oh my God, tail grabbed him. Look at this, guys, on the rattle trap. Yet another species. Oh my God. That is an incredible, incredible catch. I never thought that I'd be seeing a drum right now. I've never even targeted these fish. That is uh, freaking crazy. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Ah, fish on. Another fish. I have no idea what this is. Oh, sitting right in the current. This could be a king salmon. This could be a carp. This could be a drum. Oh my God, it's a carp. Is that a carp? What the? Oh my god, another drum. <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this. <laughs> no freaking way. Oh my god, okay. Oh my gosh, we gotta take him over to land. Another big drum hooked into on the rattle trap. Get out of town. Get out of freaking town. Just tied on the Kaminsky blade bait. Gonna try to cast this up in here. I have probably about 30 minutes left to fish. I'm hoping this is gonna catch me my first king salmon of the day. I already hooked into two of the king salmon, two or three. But uh, this might catch a drum, might catch a smallmouth, might catch a king salmon. So I tied it on and see what happens. So I'm honestly getting very cold right now. I'm still have to swim back. So I'm just gonna fish for a little bit longer and then probably call it. But uh, let's get let's get a fish. Let's get a king salmon. So I, I guess I wasn't feeling- All right, so for the final part of the send right now, I gotta swim across this canal yet again, get back to my car. And I'm absolutely freezing right now, but I just wanna let you guys know that whenever you get out on the send, just remember, this is why you do what you do. To catch giant fish like this, to have an awesome time. And make sure you keep getting out there, keep on preserving what we have in this beautiful world, and never end the send. Yeah.